Okay, this uh, video we're going to talk about complex numbers. And again, uh, here you might want to review properties of radicals. I'm sure you can look them up online. Okay, let's talk about a complex number. Here I have square root of 75 minus square root of negative 90. So to simplify the radical square root of 75, we look for a factor that's a perfect square. If we can't find one, then we just leave it like this. But 75 can be written as 25 times 3. So that's the same as square root of 25 times 3. And then um, I also look for a perfect square for 90. And the perfect square for 90 would be 9, but this is negative 90, so I'm going to write it as negative 9 times 10. Now, if you, you might remember that when you take the square root of a negative number, you get an imaginary number. So we'll see that in just a second. Let's take care of this first radical. The square root of 25 is simply 5. So I'm going to have 5 times the square root of 3. And the square root of negative 9 is 3i. So I'm going to have minus 3i times the square root of 10. And that's how you simplify a complex number. And now they don't always have to have uh, radicals. But remember, complex numbers have to be in the form of some real number plus or minus another number times i. So here the real number is 5 square root of 3. And the i, is, of course, has coefficient of minus 3 times square root of 10. Now, let's talk about multiplying complex numbers. When you multiply complex numbers, you can FOIL if you have two binomials. So if I have 1 minus 5i times 2 plus 3i, I can just use the FOIL. If you don't know what FOIL is, do a search for it. FOIL just means I take the first number times the first number in each binomial. So 1 times 2 would be the first times the first. And then the O is the outer product. So I multiply 1 times 3i, and I get... Uh, 3i. Looks like I did that backwards, but anyway. The inner product would be minus 5i times 2, which is minus 10i. And then the last times the last would be minus 5i times 3i, which is minus 15i squared. Now, I can combine these two terms, minus 10i plus 3i is minus 7i. So I have 2 minus 7i. But then, i squared Remember, i is the square root of negative 1, so i squared would just be negative 1. So that becomes minus 15 times negative 1. And minus 15 times negative 1 becomes plus 15. And so now I can add the 2 to the 15 and get 17 minus 7i. And there's the complex number. That's the answer. Now, sometimes when you multiply binomials that involve complex numbers, you get a pair of conjugates. Now conjugates have a unique uh, character about them in that when you multiply them, the middle terms cancel. So watch what happens here. If I multiply 3 times 3, I get 9. If I multiply the outer product, 3 times 5i, I get 15i. If I multiply the inner product, minus 5i times 3, I get minus 15i. And notice that 15i and minus 15i are going to cancel. Now, if I multiply minus 5i times 5i, I'm going to get minus 25i squared. Now, I don't know why I wrote this step. Because I just copied the same thing over, didn't I? All right, so now you can cancel these terms. And then you get 9 minus 25i squared. But remember, i squared is negative 1. So that's just 9 minus 25 times negative 1, which is 9 plus 25, which is 34. Now, there's a reason I showed you this. I showed you this so that you would see that any time you multiply these conjugates together, a minus bi plus, I mean, times a plus bi, then it's going to actually eliminate the imaginary portion and you're going to get just a real a real number, like I did here, 34. Well, 
many times you're actually asked to rationalize the denominator of a complex number. So here, if you look at this denominator, I have 5 plus 3i. So if I want to rationalize 5 plus 3i, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to multiply it by its conjugate, which would be 5 minus 3i. Well, you can't just multiply the denominator by 5 minus 3i. If you're going to do that, you have to multiply both the top and the bottom by 5 minus 3i so that you're not changing the value of the number. Now, so if I multiply the top by 5 minus 3i, I can just distribute the 7. 7 times 5 is 35, and then 7 times minus 3i is minus 21i. Now on the bottom, I'm going to just cut to the chase here. The middle terms are going to cancel, and all you're going to get is 5 times 5, which is 25, and then 3i times minus 3i, which is minus 9i squared. And then i squared is negative 1, so you're going to get 25 minus 9 times negative 1, which is 25 plus 9, and that's going to be 34. Now the top, we finished that a long time ago, 35 minus 21, uh, 21i. So now I have 35 minus 21i over 34. Now your instructor might ask you to write this in complex form a plus bi. So if he asks you to do that, then you've got to write this as 35 over 34 minus 21 over 34i as your final answer. And that's how you simplify complex numbers. So that ends the video, little mini video lecture on complex numbers.